Alright, so we're going to talk about some pond modeling today in Civil 3D 2017. So we're going to start out with a project that I've been working on. Um, I have my road finished, I have my uh, lot grading finished, and we're going to add a pond to this lot right here. So the very first thing we want to do is create a feature line. So on our home tab, under the feature line, we're going to create a feature line. Now this feature line is going to be on a site called Pond. So you can create a new site. Um, the sites just are collection areas for objects you want to interact with one another. So any feature lines we put on this Pond site will interact with each other. So I've already got one created it's called Pond. I'm going to just go with the basic feature line and put it on the layer for my pond features. Okay, once I do that, it's asking me for a start point. I'm just going to pick out anywhere in there. And I'm not sure what elevation I want the bottom of this pond to be, but I know I want it to be about four feet deep. So I can come down to the command line, select my surface, and I want my composite surface it's going to tell me the elevation of the composite, so that's the top. So I can change it now to be, let's say, 4518 for the bottom. Now I just go ahead and pick points, and it doesn't matter a whole lot where I put them because we can modify it easily afterwards. Let's close that. Okay, once I, once I have my feature line, I'm going to create a grading object. So on the Home tab, under my Create Design panel, I have a grading. We're going to go to Grading Creation Tools. Pulls up my little toolbar here, and I down at the bottom you'll see that I don't have a group and I don't have a surface. So I want to set those first off. So I click on this button to set my grading group. And I created one on the site Pond called Pond. Now with these grading groups, kind of the same idea with the site, uh, any of the grading objects that are part of this group will react with one another. We're going to do a simple one, so it doesn't matter that much, but we're going to just call it Pond for our group name. Now we need to select a surface. So I'm going to go with my composite. Okay, now I have my group, I have my surface, and we're going to come over here to the criteria. And I have a bunch of criteria that I've already um, set up, and you can edit the basic ones, you can create your own. I'm going to use this one, it's going to um, target a surface at a 3 to 1 slope. And I'm going to go to my edit just so you can see what that criteria looks like. So I'm targeting surface, I'm projecting cut and fill slopes, it's looking for cuts first. I'm going to put in a slope of a 3 to 1 on my cuts, slope of 3 to 1 on my fills, and use average slope for my conflict resolution. Okay, once I have all that set up, come over to this bar and you can see we've got a create grading copy transitions or infill. Right now we're going to create a grading. We're going to select our pond bottom feature, select the outside, and apply to the entire length. Okay, so now I have a grading object and it's projected slopes. Looks good. Now if I select that, and go to my grading group properties, you'll see on the information tab I can make a surface creation automatically with this. So I'm going to select that and just pulls up your surface creation dialog box. I'm naming my surface pond, one and five design, say OK, say OK. So now I have a surface 
And you'll see, if I look at this surface, 3D looks pretty good. Um, one thing's missing though. I have the side slopes. I don't have a pond bottom. So the way you create that pond bottom is using the infill command. Now before we do the infill, let me show you a couple things with this pond. You can see that I've overlapped another lot, which I didn't really want to do. And I've decided I want to move it over here. So instead of moving the grading object, all you have to do is select your feature line and move it wherever you want. It's projecting new slopes to your surface. Um, and you can see I'm still not where I want to be, so I select my feature line again, and I can just click and drag my grips. So I just drag them until my slopes are within the lot. And you can play with this a little bit and get it just exactly the way you want it. And on this lot, it looks like it would be helpful to add a new vertice on this back. So with the feature line selected up in my contextual ribbon, I can just add a PI. So modifying the grading object is as easy as modifying your feature line. As the grading object is associated with that feature line. Let's do one more thing. Let's uh, create a slope from this point. Let's make this the high point. Let's make this the low point. So with my feature line selected, I'm going to just grade that feature line from this point to this point. And I'm going to select a grade of negative 0.1. And really, I don't want a point 0.1, I want 1. So we're going to do this again. Select my object, start point, end point, negative 1. OK. So I have to pull that grip back in, keep my grading within the lot. Now I've got a pond that will slope all the way to the other side. Now this is kind of funny because I've got this at zero. So let's go ahead and just grade this out. Okay. Move a couple of the grips around. Keep that grading within the lot. Once I have the grading set the way I want, I'm going to create an infill for the bottom. So just in my grading creation tools, create an infill. Now I have a full surface. And if I look at that surface, you'll see that we have a pond. High point here, low point here and it's graded at a 1%. So that's how you create a pond in Civil 3D 2017 and um, a surface with that. Um, so you can take that surface, you can calculate volumes, you can add it to your composite surface, do a bunch of different things, um, all other grading tools that that you may know, you may not know. We'll probably be doing some more videos on, on those items. So, If you have any questions, just contact me. My contact information will be on a slide at the end of this video. And I hope it helped. Good luck.